free throw line, that's all. Here we go again at the free throw line by Wright. He's connected on his last four. And this is on that one. A good fall, so far, a good foul by Tug Valley. And they're down by six with two minutes to go, so it's far from over. We know that. No, especially in the way they've been shooting the ball here just of late, really. I mean, they've hit some pretty big threes in the fourth quarter. And he misses on both. And Vance coming up on it. Pulling up the three, back rim, no good. Didn't have many rebounders there. Mm -mm. Coach Garland Thompson probably wasn't real happy with that position. Brewer getting the steal, I mean, on the the feed from the steal from Newsom. He's got 12, 59, 55, four-point lead by Oak Hill. And a foul there by Justin Kirk picking up his second. Oak Hill is getting ready to take the ball out here. Actually, no, I'm sorry. They're going to shoot free throw. I wasn't even paying attention to the right side. I thought they're taking out in front of the scoreboard over here. And free throw, no good if you're wondering. It's before the shot. We have a little mix-up here, I think, with the statistics. is their score. We're still waiting to see what's going on here. We have a little, they're figuring out the books right now. We got the Tug Valley statistician paired up with the um, Oak Hill statistician down here trying to figure this out, trying to figure out this last 94 seconds. First 94, last 94 seconds here of this one. We have a slugfest so far. You know, Tug Valley, now they're on the verge of trying to come back. Because Oak Hill was down by as many as 10. You know, they came all the way back up to be up by 9. Now that lead's been cut down to 4. As Tug Valley's right now in the process of coming. Is on our way of uh, coming back. But the guy be, um, you got to wonder, though, John, if maybe that this timeout slowed up a minimum a little bit for Tug Valley. I'm really interested to see what's happened here, Tony. They've taken three or four minutes of the, the game here. Huh? Now... Oak Hill is going to take the ball out. Okay, no free throws now. Still, tr- still waiting. <laughs> this is a dilemma. It would almost have to be about the amount of fouls on a player, or. If that gets any more complicated, we're going to have to bring in a bio major from UC. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful campus located right down the road here from Charleston Civic Center. Not a free plug. I'd prefer AB any day. <laughs> you, wouldn't be, you wouldn't be a little biased there, would you, Tony? Hey, man. You're, I'm sure you're a Skyhawk uh, still down at your heart in the hilltopper up at West Live. Yeah. Tug Valley. Forcing the turnover. Oh, yeah, man. Things getting a little dicey. Let's see what Tug Valley can do here on this one. Austin Vance said, get that ball in my hands. I'm the senior guard. I'm the only senior on the starting five, and I want the ball or working on off the screens to get the ball. Left open for three. Back rim, no good. Yeah. Under a minute to go, 59-55, Staunton Bailey. Going to get fouled there by number 30, Austin Brewer. That'll be his fourth. That was 
Open end one and one. No hmm. good. And over the back there by number 20, Noah Smith. That'll be his second. 59-55, 52.4 seconds left. Still Oak Hill's got two more fouls to give up before Tug Valley's in the one and one. He has a cheap one there to pick up. Vance up and one. Oh, my goodness. He's got 23 going for 24. Mm-hmm. Well, we know. The good thing is we know who our WVSN player the game's going to be on either side. He's got to figure out who wins first. <laughs> 59-57. Austin Vance, 10 of 11 so far from the free throw line. Make it 11 of 12. It's a pretty solid night at the stripe, ain't it? Not bad at all. 58-59, we got a one-point game, 45 seconds. No kills going. Let's see here how far Tug Valley, how long Tug Valley lets him go here without fouling. It's a one-point game, Tony. you got to try to you at least get a, a stop. Right there it is. No foul. Boy, the body's hitting the floor everywhere. 20, 20 seconds. seconds left. Oh, Ooh. goodness. A timeout taken by Garland Thompson. Go figure. Yeah. For some reason, he wanted to draw up a special play. <laughs> They're down by one, 18.9 seconds versus the number one team in the state the double A in double A, the Oak Hill Red Devils, Tug Valley, trying to make shock waves all across the state here and try to knock off again the two-time defending state champion, Oak Hill Red Devils. Wow, Tony, wow. We knew, uh, I mean, I had a feeling... We've said that this may be the best game. Tell you what, I hate to be South Charleston Wheeling Park following up this one. This has been a doozy from open to the end. Absolutely. Been a tale of runs. I mean, it's been back and forth. It's now, you almost had that idea that may have come down to who has the ball last. And, you know, in this situation, that's the case. Tug Valley, 18.9 seconds left. You know, uh, they got to. Coach Thompson put a lot of faith in his defense there, Tony. I think I would have fouled. I would have been on the bench a little bit earlier than that. But he stuck with his boys, trusted them, man, and O'Kill come down th- th- three on two in the lane, turnover. That's what you want out of your defense. And you even, you even called me out right there saying, oh, you gotta let him play and, you know, force turnover. And you were right on the money, John, so kudos to you and your basketball expertise over <laughs> here. Schwab. <laughs> Sorry, right, man. At least you haven't referred to yourself as Nostradamus yet. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time. Man. Oh, Tony. goodness. One-point game. Austin Vance now with 11, 10. He goes up. Can't get it to fall. Pat coming up with the loose ball. Noah Smith, Noah Smith able to come up with it. Mm, got the look you wanted, Tony. That was exactly what you wanted, but... Still, worst case scenario, three point game. So either way, Tug Valley will have a chance to send this one in overtime. Austin Brewer, actually, I thought I had him as his fifth there, but fortunately, fortunately for him, I'm wrong. Yeah, Tug Valley, they got one timeout left. Do a little bit of lip reading, Tony. Watching the. Actually, I think it's up on the scoreboard for the first time. What a rare luxury we have. I love the Civics. Yeah, there. nice. Tug Valley is going to use that final timeout. 4.2 seconds left. As Noah, as Noah Smith, I tell you what, if there's a kid you want to get fouled though, it's Noah Smith because he didn't even play in the first half. And, uh, and he's coming in. He hasn't had a free throw shot attempt yet. And now he's going to take two big ones with the game on the line with 4.2 seconds left. So no pressure on the young man at all. Noah Smith. He is, uh, let me look up what grade he is. He is a senior, 6'5 senior, playing at the Civic Center. Yeah, this, is a, this, this could be his last chance at the Civic Center. For some reason, they would get shocked in the sectionals or regionals. That's right. It would be a big shock. But it's, it's possible. Win in Rome. Yeah, you know, talk about um, GW with uh, Gord and Frankie. You know, this might be the double A version because you go, you know, six five, six eight. 
It's a rare luxury, Tony. Very few teams in AA have that. Yeah. Especially 6'8". Not a lot of AAA schools got 6'8". That's right. And he connects on the first one. Smooth as butter. Butter smooth. You're right, Tony. <laughs> And next on the second, three-point game. Doug Valley's going to have a chance to send this one to overtime. 61-58. No kill takes the timeout there. They want to make sure they have the right defense in place. They don't want to give up nothing wide open. They want to at least have it a contested look. That's right. They prefer no look at all. (laughs) But that's the last thing you want is leave someone hanging out wide open like an Austin Vance or Austin Brewer. Even, I mean, anybody, I mean, it's 4.2 seconds left. Anybody has open around that three-pointer, you know, letting her, letting her rip. Well, it's played long enough. Tony gets the ball off the floor. Get a good, get a good look anyway. Four point two seconds left. We've had a doozy so far, continuing to What a what an extra chapter this would be if Tug Valley can hit a three pointer right here. Oh yeah, free basketball in the Civic Center. Well, that's not what they had drawn up. As yep. DeAndre Leonard connects and makes your final score sixty three fifty eight. That's two good teams, Tony. You'll, you'll, they'll, they'll, both of those teams will make noise in March. Impressive, impressive. Well, our W, we always do it, post-game awards, our WVSportsNet.com player of the game, the Oak Hill Red Devils. Way to show up. Like we said, he's in the fourth quarter. Man amongst boys, Khalif Wright, number 23 for Oak Hill. Tony, hit me at the stat line. Well, he had 11 two-point field goals. Um, at the at the half, the young man had uh, 13. And then in the second half, he had 16. And if you do the math, that's 31 points, and that's Absolutely. why he is our WVSportsCenter.com player of the game. Anytime you break that 30-point plateau and get the victory, more times than not, you will get your free copy of tonight's mm-hmm. game. Absolutely. Hey, congratulations to him. We're going to try to rally him up right out of the shoot and try to get him over here and get him uh, get him some face time. He deserved, he's earned it as Oak Hill remains number one after a, a, a nice little game there against Tug Valley in a double-A showdown here at the Civic Center. Tony Lane with John Foster on WVSportsNet.com. The sports voice of the Valley. 